So at this point, you guys know that Bed Bath & Beyond stock is likely going to go through a reverse stock split, whether it's a 1 for 5, a 1 for 10, maybe even a 1 for 20 reverse stock split. And we recently talked about what a reverse stock split is, why they're doing it, what are the pros of a reverse stock split. But in this video, we're going to talk about one main con that I'm looking at, and we're going to break down the earnings coming up on the 12th of April. And on top of that, we're going to go over my theory here with Bed Bath & Beyond stock and what could be happening here moving forward so if you all find value of course hit that like button make sure to subscribe and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo link down below we'll talk more about that later and now let's dive into the video so again we talked about how reverse stock splits they're great for the perception of the value of the stock right because in a lot of cases perception is reality right so if you see Bed Bath & Beyond stock at 30 cents you're going to be like holy crap it's a worthless company it's a worthless stock but if you see it at let's say they do a one for 20 let's say you see it at six dollars it's going to be you know it's going to be way more attractive to the eye right because again perception in a, in a lot of cases is reality so you'll think okay if it's six dollars way more attractive than if it's 30 cents even though the fundamentals are exactly the same it's literally the same business right and we'll see if they actually go through with the reverse stock split which i think at this point they need to do it especially because the stock has been getting hit day after day after day you guys probably know in the past week literally every day bed bath and beyond has been hitting a new all-time low which yeah that's not the best sign for the company guys you can see we were coasting around 80 to 85 cents for a good chunk of the end of March you guys can see that right here and then we got news of the stock offering and a bunch of other news which started to send the stock down into this black hole that it's been in essentially right where we're hitting lower highs after lower highs all-time low after all-time low and here we are we just hit a fresh all-time low on the last day of trading which was on Thursday right at, at about 29 cents roughly 30 cents is where you know we closed that we went down eight percent on Thursday. So in a reverse stock split, you guys obviously know at this point, each outstanding share is converted into a fraction of the share. So let's say if it were to complete a one for 10 stock split, each share of Bed Bath & Beyond would be worth one tenth of a new share. And if they did a one for five, it'd be worth one fifth of a new share, one for 20. It would be worth one twentieth of a new share, right? That makes sense. Pretty simple to understand, right? And generally speaking, when it comes to reverse stock splits, when companies in general do these splits to, you know, bring the stock price up, this could harm investor confidence. Although companies may complete a reverse stock split to boost investor sentiment, it could also backfire and have the opposite effect. It could actually signal that the company is struggling and some larger shareholders might choose to sell their holdings after the split if it does not match their strategic uh, uh, you know objectives and at this point guys everybody knows bed bath and beyond struggling so it's not going to be a, a surprise to the larger investors in, in my personal opinion but we're talking about reverse stock splits in general here that's typically a con where you know it, it could backfire on um you know in investors or the stock or the company in general because because it could have, you know, the opposite effect potentially, right? But at this point, I don't think it will have the opposite effect on Bed Bath & Beyond because everybody knows the company's already struggling. Uh, but that in general could be a con for reverse stock splits that, again, although companies may complete a reverse stock split, it could backfire and have the opposite effect. It could signal the company is struggling and some larger shareholders might choose to sell their holdings. But again, people already know that Bed Bath & Beyond is struggling. So at this point, in my opinion, guys, it's nothing but pros. It's nothing but you know positives here if they do choose to do a reverse stock split, which I think they will. And let's talk a little bit about that. Actually, wait, before we do that, let's dive into Yahoo Finance here. Bear with me, guys. Give me a second. And by the way, guys, hit that like button if you haven't done so already. I appreciate each and every one of you out there tuning in. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Bed Bath & Beyond is going to go bankrupt? Do you think they're going to do this reverse stock split? Then we're going to break down in a second here what I think could happen here in the short term. Let's quickly look, though, at the earnings projections coming up. We have earnings this week on the 12th, which 
which I do believe they're after the bell, or are they before the bell? Actually, no, they're before the bell, before the market on the 12th, which is actually even more interesting. So we'll get a full day of trading with the earnings that just came out. That's uh, that's going to be pretty interesting. So average estimate right now is a dollar sixty-seven in the red. So they're going to be losing a dollar sixty-seven on average based on the six analysts for EPS. So of course they're going to be losing money. And on revenue, guys, take a look here. They're projected to do one point three eight billion dollars of revenue on, on uh, six analysts. That's the average estimate. The low estimate is one point two billion, and the high estimate you guys can see is one point six. $3 billion with sales growth, well, in this case, sales decline of 32.5%. So, of course, their sales are not going to be growing, but let me say that again. 1.6 is the high estimate. 1.2 is the low estimate. Average, we're looking at $1.4 billion on revenue. And again, they're going to be losing money. And an analyst the, on the low estimate thinks they're going to lose upwards of almost 3 bucks per share, which is pretty brutal, guys. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty brutal. So let's dive over here to Thinkorswim now and talk about what I think could happen, what my theory is here on the reverse stock split and what could be the best case scenario after these uh, these earnings end up coming out. So you guys probably know that, of course, like I said, we're at all time lows right now. What I think would be ideal here would be if we saw some sort of crazy short squeeze before we ended up getting that reverse stock split. I feel like it'd be ideal for the management team to do the reverse stock split, maybe not so much here at all-time lows, although, I mean, that, would, that wouldn't be bad either. I mean, it, it'd be good to do it at any time. But I think the best time for them to do a reverse stock split would be if we saw some crazy squeeze. And bear with me here, guys. Look at what happened last time this company reported earnings. We got that crazy squeeze. We had a crazy run. Look, it was at a dollar forty-five, roughly a dollar fifty cents last time. Well, that's actually before they reported, and the stock ended up going all the way to six dollars by the middle of when was that January? So this thing ran up about four hundred, three hundred percent, something like that. Then it cooled off a little bit. Then we saw another huge spike to seven dollars. So if they time this correctly. So let's say, for example, we get another 300, 400% squeeze, maybe something crazier than that. Maybe it goes up 10x for all we know. That would be the ideal time for them to do that reverse stock split, in my opinion, right? Squeeze out the shorts, get that stock price up, right? And then do the reverse stock split. Let's say, for example, they did it now, a 20 for one or a one for 20. They could get the stock price to $6 a share. But let's say they waited for this thing to squeeze to a dollar or something like that, or maybe it squeezed up to a dollar fifty. Who knows, right? Then they did the one for twenty. What would it be at that point? You know, the, the stock price would be a lot higher, and and of course, perception, like I said, is reality. So that's that's what I think they're going to uh, potentially do. Wait for the squeeze. If it does end up happening, let's say it goes to a dollar for for basic math here. Then do the one for twenty. Then the share price would be back to twenty bucks a share if they were to do that. And that would be, in my opinion, pretty smart. And, and, and at least that's my theory. And judging on, you know, all these different times we, we've squeezed in the past, that might be wise for them uh, to do, to wait for the squeeze, which I think will come. I mean, at this point, guys, this thing, I don't think it's going to go bankrupt necessarily in the very short term here. I mean, it could, but I think bankruptcy is a little bit farther down the road if it does end up coming. So in the meantime, take advantage of the reverse stock split, I think we're going to get a squeeze, then they're going to do the split, and that's going to be the ideal scenario for Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know. What do you guys think? I might just be talking out of my you-know-what right now. I don't know. I'm just telling you guys my opinions here on the video. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And this is coming from somebody that owns a speculative position in Bed Bath & Beyond, like I'm sure a lot of you guys out there do as well. You probably hold the stock. And I'm going to ride it out. I'm going to ride it out like I know a lot of you guys are as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo as well. Use that link down below. Open up an account. You get one free share of stock. And if you deposit at least 100 bucks, you get four more shares totaling five stocks. And listen to this. If you deposit at least 1000 bucks, you get another 
another 10 stocks totaling 15 free stocks. So if you guys want some free money, you want to help out the channel, use that Moomoo link down below. You might as well get 12 stocks from Weeble as well and check out the Patreon. Why not? All down below. I appreciate you guys as always. Cheers. I'll catch you in the next one.